Hi everyone, Nicole from Austrek here. I am with Wendy from JCU International and Vid, who is a current uh, med student at JCU. He's in his fifth year. He's actually on rotation right now uh, <laughs> on a break, I think. So I'll yep, turn it yep, over. Yeah, all good. I'm just trying over. to get some, a beautiful sunny day to show you guys some mango. <laughs> it's mango season at the moment. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> I'll turn it over to Wendy and Vid and you guys can talk about uh, student life at JCU. Thanks so much, Nicole. Well, you don't get much more authentic than this. Um, as Nicole <laughs> mentioned, Vid is, is currently uh, in his fifth year on rotation, and some of you may have joined our previous session. Uh, he actually has had to step outside at the moment, but also it's nice to step outside because tell us a bit about you're in Townsville, right, Vid? Yes, yes. So I'm in Townsville, guys. So if you guys like know where we are, which is nor very north, right? So we're north of Australia. We can get really hot during the summertime, but you get really used to it because there's aircon everywhere anyways. But at the moment, it's only hot towards the, you know, December, January, February months, but the rest of the year, it's just paradise. Like we got mangoes um, hanging on the tree. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but- um, yeah, yeah, we can. Like, <laughs> yeah, so the, it's, it's just paradise the rest of the time in terms of the climate. Yeah, and, the, and one of the things that makes that hot weather so good is the fresh mangoes that are literally everywhere. You can you can buy them on the side of the road in a bucket. Sometimes you can just pick them from the so. trees. I, I, I never <laughs> had to buy any mangoes. I just go around and pick them from all the open trees around. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So Vid, this session, uh, it's just a, a quick one. So we, we've got about um, 15 minutes to have a quick chat about student life at JCU. Um, and I wanted to, I, I guess I wanted to start um, understanding a little bit about the, the lifestyle as a student um, and, and what it's like. I know that you lived on campus, so if you could talk a little bit about that experience. So when I moved to Townsville from Sydney, you know, I didn't know anyone in Townsville. But for me, living on campus just for the first year gave me those bearings I kind of needed and made some really good friends. And like, so living on campus was just really helpful because... Um, you know, you didn't have to worry about cooking and you didn't have to worry about, you know, parking and things like that. You're literally living on campus. You get your three meals cooked for you. You just do, you know, you just have to attend classes, make friends um, and meet people and, you know, go to your lectures. So in that sense, you know, living on campus really helped me to kind of get my feet. But what I realized is that I wanted to be a bit more independent. Well, you know, I didn't, you know, I wanted to cook my own favorite meals and things like that. So being on campus, I found some like-minded people um, and, you know, some friends that I've kind of made and we went into a share house, which is also possible. There's a lot of share houses around Douglas um, that can and be done as well. So and I think the, you know, just that, that ease of it is definitely there. Some people stay on campus for a number of years, but as a medical student, when you get to like your third year and fourth year onwards, you're just on placement most of the time and you go away for, you know, on rotations, like, you know, for six months or what, six weeks or something like that. So therefore, you know, staying on campus isn't as beneficial as it is in the early years. Thanks, Vid. And so can you tell me a little bit about if you do live on campus or if you live in the suburb of Douglas that you just mentioned, which is the same mm -hmm. suburb as the, the campus, what kind of distances are we talking and how do you get around? Yeah, okay. So there's, look, I highly, highly recommend bicycles. Bicycles are the best way to get around. And that's what I did when I was living on campus. Um, you know, it's walking distance, um, but, you know, walking takes time. Bicycles are just easy. And even when I moved into Douglas, I still choose to uh, cycle in um, to uni because, you know, you don't have to worry about parking and whatnot. But distances aren't that long. You know, Douglas is in that five minute maximum radius um, all around. And that's where most of the university students um, live for so five minutes. Um, you know, if you have to get in early to find parking, that's about it. And, and hence why I like uh, the bicycles. But JCU, since probably three weeks ago, they've got these electronic scooters now. So you've got electronic scooters all around the campus and you just literally hop on. I'm not sure what you guys have in Canada, but, you know, you hop, hop on, use your phone to scan it and you have, don't have to pay a lot. It's like 20 cents a minute or something like that. And you can just jump on one of those electronic scooters and then just ride around class, uh, you know, ride around campus or back and forth from, um, you know, your college as well. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those scooters. They look amazing. I'm a bit scared because yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit uncoordinated, but, <laughs> but yeah. they're definitely getting a lot of use um, around Townsville and Cairns, and they're certainly really prevalent uh, in North America as well. So yeah. um, could you tell me a little bit about, you know, I know being a med student is really, really hard work and you don't get very much downtime, but um, in, your, in the little bit of downtime that you do, have you got any tips on how people can kind of, maximize that time and some of the things that they can do yeah. in townsville 
Absolutely. And that's the, the biggest goal, the, the biggest, uh, you know, uh, the tip that anyone can give you is do not let medicine or whatever you're studying take over your life. You know, a lot of students tend to do that. They're like, oh my God, I'm, you know, I'm paying, I'm, I'm here, I need to pass these exams and whatnot. And they will put so much effort in, even in their downtime, they don't let themselves have that downtime. And it's so important to have hobbies outside of medicine, even friends outside of medicine. Um, you know, just, you know, and there's so much things to do in Townsville. I think a lot of people think, oh, Townsville's a bit like, you know, regional, there's nothing much to do, but that's a complete lie. Once you let yourself say, look, medicine's, I'm not going to let medicine take over my life. I'm going to hold on to my hobbies, whether it's sporting, music, um, drama, like other, whatever hobbies it is, there is opportunities for that. And the, another big tip is to join um, student clubs. So JCU has an array of different student clubs. I've personally been part of this club called Club Rhino, which is a rural health club. But then there's, you know, whether if you like, you know, anime or if you like, you know, uh, what's those video games? I don't even know the names of or something about. Manga. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 that one. And there's all these things. And there's like student societies. There's some student societies for each and um, different interest group. Um, I think at one stage, JC even had like a chocolate appreciation society. Um, you know, I think I'm not, in, so if you, if you feel like, Hey, I have an interest in whatever, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, a crochet club as well. So if you have an interest and they feel like, Hey, I need to get some group of people together. You can literally just, you know, get a, get a group of people and start a club and JC will support and fund, fund that for you. Yeah. I, I'm even aware Vid, that, um, because the area that um, our campuses are in, it, it's very you know, unique in terms of the environment. We've got the reef and the rainforest right there. Um, mm. I've, I believe there's a club called Doctors for the Environment uh, for who are medicine students who are interested in environmental and they go hiking and <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's a there's a, all sorts of different clubs. There's that rural health club I mentioned. There's a global health club called Sante, and there is Jakuvam, which is that wilderness expeditions and environmental ones that, you know, they kind of focus on the retrieval medicine kind of thing. So they go on hikes, um, you know, they go on camping trips together, um, you know, it just brings on people with similar interest groups. Whether if you want to say, for example, you're, you know, coming into medical school, medical school and you know exactly what you want to do at the end of the six years, whether you want to become a surgeon or a GP, you know, not such a gynecologist, there are interest groups within JCU for you to be part of and attend events and become, you know, show your leadership through that. So there's a surgical interest group, a psychiatry interest group, and obstetrics, gynecology interest groups, or an array of all these. And depending on what your interests are, or if you feel like you want a bit of a taste of what these are in your clinical, you know, your preclinical years, which is years one, two, and three, you'd be able to join those and then, you know, get a bit of a taste. But, you know, answering that downtime, we have Magnetic Island, which is just almost a stone's throw away. It is paradise of an island. And then we've got the Strand, a 20-minute drive from campus, and you can just go for a walk. You know, you go have a swim. Um, and as you said, between the reef and the beaches, there's so much, uh, you know, potential to go out and do stuff if you're into, you know, being outdoors. Thanks, Vid. And can, can I just ask, when you first start, I'm conscious that you're in fifth year, so this is stretching the memory a bit and you're, you're tired and on, on placement. So I, I'm just giving you a little bit of a warm up. But can you let me know when, when you first start, my understanding is that there's, you know, homeroom groups and the ability for students mm. to, to sort of under, be mentored. Can you talk a little bit about the support for students in those um, oh, initial stages? Yeah, absolutely. So JCU's, you know, medical program particularly has this thing called the home group program. And it is amazing. There's like, there's one lady, it's called Simone Dress, who goes through every student's kind of, you know, history. And then she uses something called the social economics or something like that. And she puts group people into groups of 10 to 12, 10, groups of 10 students uh, through, you know, and then there's around 20 groups in first year. And then each group has a facilitator and a co-facilitator. A co-facilitator would be someone in third year and a facilitator could be someone in fifth, sixth year or an academic, like a lecturer. So what the idea is to, you know, that it's more so, more, more so like peer support that you might have had at high school. Um, and then it's essentially just, hey, here are some friends. Um, yeah, here are some friends for you guys to, you know, start, you know, get some grounding with. And sometimes those first year home groups become your lifelong friends. Like, you know, who you've been put together become your lifelong friends. You know, and that's how I met some of my friends at the moment. And the, essentially the idea is that you meet up once a week, um, once a week, 
for a couple of hours, you or like for an hour, you bring some food and you sit down and talk about some issues. How are you going? It's a bit of pastoral care as well. But on top of that, you go through some cases um, and you go through some um, medical study stuff as well. Thanks so much, Viet. I, I know that was a big ask and I didn't prepare you for that question. No, 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 that's absolutely right no. It's, yeah. Um, so we've all, I've also invited um, any of the participants to just type questions into the chat. Um, I will let everybody know we may not get to all the questions and some of the questions that may make more sense for us to answer in, in the booth afterwards. But, Vid, I am going to ask you a few just on the spot. Um, yeah. So one is from um, Olia, and she's asked about who organises your living accommodations on rural placements or placements oh, away yeah. from yeah. Townsville? Yeah, sure. Um, no, that's right. So JCU will accommodate all the medical students who go out for rural, um, rural placements. If it's a college, um, a placement so as in like if the medicine medical school organizes you to go to a rural town they will give you accommodation mm -hmm. in second year then depending on your location there might be a bit of a fee to pay so every student has to pay whether you're international or not and that's around eighty dollars a week to a hundred dollars a week depending on what location you are on some sites give you free accommodation if you're living at the hospital sometimes you get free meals uh, part of that as well but you know the placement I went in second year that was to Collinsville and that you just pay that rent essentially while you're away and um but that's only in second year placement third year because it's um like not just an ed placement in third year you're expected to stay where you are or you find some accommodation yourself for the three like that two weeks that you do but from fourth year onwards four five and six every placement they will accommodate you and they are free of charge as well as an little jcu medical school will cover that Thanks very much, Vid. So um, there's a few more questions that have come through. Uh, this one, yeah. I will just let you know, we've got about three more minutes left too. So yeah, this oh, one is, <laughs> it goes so quickly. I know it does, so, um, it does. Okay. <laughs> what kind of money saving tips? So maybe just think of one or two. Can yeah. you give oh, to prospective students? Look, I, I think money saving tips, look, sometimes when I look, I'm a uni student, I still have, and I've been for a while, so I know the importance of like you know saving money and trying to get things cost effective so i think it's about you know it's about you know don't buy, like you know i would not recommend you guys buying all the textbooks that they prescribe you do not because if someone will have an online copy on a usb or on a google drive and they will pass that around so especially because not really textbooky people don't go out there and buy those uh, textbooks because that's just a bit of waste of money sometimes because even if you do buy them you end up never touching it as well so don't buy that and, also yeah, and there's, a, there's the ability to buy secondhand too. Oh, absolutely. There are secondhand and uh, swaps as well. So there's a Facebook group called Townsville a Textbook Buy and Swap or whatever. And you can join those and then, you know, buy some secondhand. Absolutely. I would recommend that because I'm very much a tactile person. I do like to have books. And so I do, ha I have bought some online secondhand. The other thing is that, you know, you can save money in terms of, you know, some, if you just like make yourself a bit of a calendar to find out what club, at what university, at, like, at which uh, club uh, and where that university offers you free food. If you're not living on campus, there is almost free food every single, like you know, every second day, um, if you plan it right and join those clubs that do have those food options. So yeah, I was one of those people, you know, going out and finding where the free food are and joining those clubs. And in terms of like, by, a lot of people think as a student, I'm not sure if, you know, you guys can find part-time work and especially in Townsville, we've got this massive stadium. Now, that's where a lot of, uh, JCU students currently work, especially medical students, you know, it, and it's not like part-time work where you have to like, you know, allocate a lot, a lot of time. Every time there is a footy game or like a football game going on, they will want students to come help out with these events to serve drinks and food. And it pays you pretty good as well, around $30 an hour, but four or five hours, one night, every second week or whatnot. And you can put your availability. If you're on placement, you don't want to go, that's, that's okay as well. Thanks, Vid. Yeah, and it's a good tip about um, the amount of barbecues and food-related activities on campus. I've heard that from many students saying, oh, <laughs> as long as you know where to go, you can get food on campus all the time. Um, and I believe there's also some, you know, cheap student nights that happen in the city if, if you're wanting to go out and, and certain nights, yeah. you know, there's deals for students. Um, yeah. And Nicole's giving me the, the heads up that we're just about to finish. Uh, there is there is a question about the weather, but um, I think you've already touched on that. It is it is definitely hot in the summertime, um, but the winter, you know, I always say nine months of the year in Townsville are pretty magic. Um, and you Absolutely. can see, you know, it's outside right now in 
um, yeah. in what's essentially springtime weather when we're moving yeah. into our hot season. And I'm, I'm sure it's getting warm there, Vid, but you, you yeah. know, you look pretty comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's great. It's great. Like, but the thing is that, you know, like, again, disregard for what COVID is, like, sometimes what happened for the first couple of years, December, January is holidays anyway. So you're not in Townsville. You probably go away back home or back to Sydney or whatever. But I never had to experience that until fourth year. And by that time, I was acclimatized anyways. Yeah, and I would definitely um, expect that inside the hospital, you've probably come outside oh. to defrost a little bit. Oh, absolutely. And <laughs> it every, gets not pretty, the pretty hospital, chilly. I think you, you, I, I the same kind of goes. You don't need a jumper if you're a, J, if you're a Townsville um, uh, citizen, but if you're a JCU student, you might need a jumper because the air cons, they blast. You know, they can become really cold. So bring, like, you know, girls bring a cardigan or whatever to tuck on uh, you know, just to keep yeah. them cold in black shoes. And I, I liken that to my experience of going to Canada in, in January and, and having to, you know, wear a million different coats and the Canadian, um, my Canadian friends are walking around in, you know, T-shirts and, and shorts. So um, yeah. it, you definitely find the buildings are, are well air-conditioned yeah. and, and often in a very sustainable way too in the north. So, Vid, we are going to have to wrap it up now. Yeah, Any, I might just answer the thoughts? next two questions. I think I saw a question about accommodation, uh, shouldn't like the college at JCU. They are really yep, good. One they're, minute. They're, yeah, they're all got. <laughs> oh, Nicole all got will get air. angry at me. <laughs> Most of them got aircon and Wi-Fi and things like that as well. But it's just the you know you become a big family. Um, not just if you're living in college, but like you know just being a JC student, like the small number size. Where, you know you can go to the library, and I don't think a lot of universities do this. But the librarians will help you with your assignments. They'll help you with your reference, and they'll proofread if you get take it to them a bit earlier on time. You know, which I feel like you know that's that student interaction that we get because of that small size we are compared to the big ones where you're just a student uh, just a number so you know that that support is definitely there um yeah all the best to you guys um yeah um well you know all the best with your journeys and if you guys are down in townsville uh wave at me and say come say hello and all the best for the rest of your placement can't thank you enough for making thank time you. on such no, a busy no. day um that's we all really good. really thank appreciate you. it okay thanks Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thanks so Thanks much, Wendy. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.